Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I will be going over Triton, an esports cryptocurrency, how to install your wallet, back it up, and restore. Triton is a cryptocurrency based on a crypto note that wants to improve esports with private transactions. It uses the Kryptonite Lite algorithm and has a max supply of 84 million. So this project was launched in February of 2018, as we can see in the roadmap. Um, and it's pretty much still in the early stages of development. You can see in their roadmap that they have accomplished what they have accomplished so far and all the milestones that they've hit. Um, and they're right now here at quarter two. They also have another uh, project called Neptune. It is uh, in development. It is a platform that allows you to accept Triton um, for donations in your streams. I've tried it, um, tested it out uh, using Twitch. Uh, and while it is still rough around the edge, it, it does work. Um, one thing I like about this project is that the development team is very active and as you can see by their roadmap, they are accomplishing their goals in a timely fashion, which is good because for me, the, um, the value in these projects really comes with the development. I mean, if they don't develop a project, uh, develop a product, then, you know, it's just another cryptocurrency. So for more information, uh, you can go to tritonproject.org. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And now to setting up your wallet. So first we need to download the wallet and we can do that by scrolling down and going to here for Windows and click the Windows icon and it'll take you to this, to their GitHub. Then go to Triton-Wallet. And then you can scroll down and go to this link where it says wallet releases and click on the Triton 2.8 zip and download it. To save some time, I've already downloaded it. Let's go over here. It's in my downloads folder and we can right click and extract. Click extract. And we go to folder over here and we can see the wallet application is here. What I like to do, um, I'm just gonna rename this to Triton. Then I'm gonna move it to my desktop. And let's close all this. And I'm gonna double click it and then start the Triton wallet. I'm gonna click more info and then click run anyway. Oh, we see here it requires the VC runtime 140 DLL. And if you get this error, I'm just gonna click okay. We do need to find, um, it's a, uh, I believe it's a .NET. Let's open up Internet Explorer. So this is a very, this is a fresh install of Windows and let's just go to the control panel here and we can see basically uh, nothing. So let us get the required file so that DLL can run. Let's close this and we're gonna open uh, Microsoft Edge. And we're gonna install Microsoft Visual C And let me get the link to that. And you want to make sure you get it. You The link is from the Microsoft website. And let's put the link up here. And I'll put the link in the description as well. And we're going to download the x86 and the x64. Sometimes it depends on the workstation, you know, if you're 64-bit or 32-bit, 
Um, there are some folks that do say you need both of them installed, so I'm going to install both of them, even though this workstation is 64-bit. So we got it downloading. So both of the files have are done downloading. I'm going to install them one by one by double-clicking, checking I agree, and install, clicking yes, and then close, and then the second one, do the same thing. I agree, install, yes, and then close. We'll go back to the Triton wallet, and now you can see it will restart. Oh, well, not restart, but actually start. So over here we have the wallet. This is our wallet address. Um, as you can see, you can mine within. So if you click start mining, it's going to mine to this wallet. I'm just going to click stop. And you can have contacts, transactions, send, pretty, pretty normal wallet. So what we want to do is I do have another wallet that I've backed up. I'm going to back up this wallet just to show you how we can uh, back it up. So, but before we do, um, let's encrypt it. So click settings, encrypt, give it a password. And click OK. Now, before I receive any funds on this wallet, I want to make sure you, I encrypt it first. And close it. And then open it up again, just to make sure I can get in. Oh, we got to wait. It's still running. Okay. It takes a while for it to exit. Yeah, it's still running. Let me force close it. As you can see, I can, um, I need to enter a password now to open this wallet and click open oh sorry click OK now that the wallet is encrypted the next time you start the wallet you'll be prompted for a password Let's open it up and we're in. So now it's, a, you know, you can um, start receiving Triton in this wallet, but you always want to make a backup. So let's click here, file, and then back up the wallet. And I'm going to save this to the desktop. And click save. So over here, we have the backup file over here. So I'm going to close this wallet, and I'm going to start fresh again, and then show you how to restore it. So I reset this virtual machine, and um, basically uh, um, what it does is it um, sets the, co the computer back before I install the Triton wallet. And we're going to just go to where Triton stores the wallet file by clicking the search bar and typing percent app data percent and hitting enter. So you can see some of the other wallets I have installed on this computer. Notice Triton is not here, but when you double click Triton for the first time, it does create a folder and a new wallet. And this is the wallet file that you can see this Triton wallet dot wallet. To restore your wallet that we backed up earlier, let's exit Triton, file, exit, and wait a bit. Sometimes it takes a while for it to close. If you don't wait for it to close and you just exit out, um, it will still be running in the background. So let's wait for it to close up completely. There we go. And then we're going to copy this, or actually we'll just move it. We're going to move this backup file here. 
and we're just gonna rename the Triton dot Triton wallet dot not wallet to Triton dot wallet. And to to rename, you can right click it and go to rename. And then I'm gonna just add dot b a k, and then click yes. And then I'm gonna rename the backup. Right click, rename to Triton Wallet. And then when I click outside of that, it's gonna rename it. So now that the backup wall wallet file is in here and been renamed, we're gonna restart Triton and it should prompt me to for a password. There we go, because we encrypted it. And there we go. We've just restored that wallet that we created earlier into this installation. Okay, thank you for watching.